Hey everybody, this is Keith Krantz from Dominate Web Media. And on this video, I am going to go over the new Facebook timeline, all the changes, uh, what you need to do to implement, you know, how it will affect your business and how to use it to your advantage. Big change. This is a huge change for Facebook. There's a lot of buzz going on right now. Uh, a lot of people uh, kind of freaking out, really uh, worried that this is going to change Facebook. Um, one word of advice is don't listen to any of that. And my, my advice is to focus on your business, focus on learning how you can use Facebook to grow your business because uh, Facebook is, is, is only going to grow and become more implemented with more businesses. So uh, you really want to utilize it to your advantage. So with some of the changes that they made uh, will improve Facebook for businesses, okay? It will improve your, your ability to engage with people, with your customers. Uh, there's a couple things that uh, aren't as good, but overall, it will be better for businesses. So this is a good thing. So let's, uh, it's just gonna take some time to get used to. It's just another change. And, you know, be ready for another one in six months from now, another big one in six months from now. It's just how Facebook works. So now with the Facebook timeline, the first most important thing is this cover image here. Okay, this is your cover photo image that they call it. Now, the one big change that a lot of people are, are, are kind of up in arms about is you cannot have a a default landing page now so you can't choose a custom landing page to, to be the default page that new visitors land on before we could choose which page we wanted to for people that have not yet liked the page uh, with the new layout um, that's you can't do that you, you you have to have people land on you know your wall your timeline here but there's some workarounds which I'm gonna get to in a second so so don't worry there's some great workarounds and some good strategies you can use so you can still build a custom Facebook landing page and drive traffic there. That's basically what you will be able to do that. So don't worry. So first of all, let's start with the timeline uh, cover photo image. The dimensions are 851 pixels wide by 315 pixels deep. So this really is meant to represent your brand. Okay. It's, it's not meant to be selling any products or anything like that. So when it comes to creating an image, it makes it a little bit easier because you know you want to have a clean image. That's what Facebook wants. They want something that represents your brand in one image. Okay, so I've got an image here of uh, when I was on a local radio show. So you know I'm trying to help businesses really uh, become the expert, become the authority in their business. That's one of my really big focuses with and what we teach is help to help businesses do that. So I figured that's a that's a great photo for my business right now. So. Some important rules that Facebook has stated that we must follow with this timeline cover photo is number one, no price or purchase info to be included in your cover art. Okay. Number two, no contact information, no web addresses, no email addresses, no phone numbers, etc. No references to other Facebook features such as like this or share this. No calls to action. Okay, so this is important stuff. They don't want you trying to pitch your product on your cover image. So there's other areas to do that. So don't worry. But you you need to please be uh, follow these guidelines. You know there are some loopholes that people are trying testing out right now with their images. But right now I would I would suggest you know branding yourself like Facebook wants you to and using the other tools to to have your your calls to action. So. Once again, the dimensions are 851 wide by 315 pixels long. So there you can use an image. You can also use some uh, editing software. There's a great free editing software that's online that's called pixlr.com, P-I-X-L-R.com. I will have it in the notes on my blog post. Okay. If you are watching this video on YouTube, I will have the entire uh, blog post along with a couple other videos, one that's dedicated to how to build a custom landing page. Okay, that's going to be a separate video, but it's on the same website, and it's www.dominatewebmedia.com forward slash timeline. So dominatewebmedia.com forward slash timeline for all the details and the links that everything we talk about here. Okay, so... How you upload your cover image is what you do is you, you is you go like this. When you're going to bring preview mode or if it's after March 30th, after March 30th is when this takes effect. Every page 
is automatically turned over to timeline mode. So you want to try to, if it's if it's before March 30th and you're watching this video, you want to you know try to implement this before then. If not, it's okay. But right here, you're going to uh, it's going to give you a little. Uh, if you hover over it right here, you see where it says change cover. So all I do is just click on this and I can choose from photos in Facebook or I can upload. So I can just upload a photo and click on that and, and I can just choose a photo right from my computer. So that's what I did here. I just choose, chose an image. I, uh, I edited it up a little bit in Photoshop. I cropped it up a little bit. So you can use that software, pixlr.com, if you don't have Photoshop. It's really easy to use. They have great tutorials and it's free. So it's like an online dummy down version of Photoshop. Okay, so this here is your profile picture. Now your profile picture is what's gonna show up as like the thumbnail when you make a comment on somebody else's page or something like that. So that's going to that's gonna show up a lot of places, so that's important. Uh, a lot of people will have their brand, their logo, which I do sometimes too. I, I just uploaded this photo for now uh, of me at, uh, me speaking. And um, if you're you know watching this video, this my Facebook page might have this changed by then. So all you do is edit profile picture and do the same thing, just upload a photo. This image here is... 180 pixels by 180 pixels so but what it does is it shrinks it down to 125 by 125 so this is actually a 125 by 125 image on your page but you can upload a 180 by 180 image and it will shrink it down now don't worry you can upload a larger image you know so basically as long as you upload a square image it will shrink it down perfectly for you so it won't because it'll just keep the same ratio you know of your 125 by 125 so let's talk about the app thumbnails over here okay so these are your app thumbnails here now if you do have a landing page they're calling it's called an app now an application or an app not uh, a landing tab like before so you've got what this does is, is this is your first one here this is the last photo uploaded so you cannot change this or the location of this this icon here so this thumbnail it stays here it's gonna be the last photo uploaded to your site so and then you have uh, I've got likes showing here uh, this is a custom landing page I had before top five mistakes it's a free video series I have on social media training uh, Facebook YouTube um, and then this is my YouTube channel here and then if I click this little arrow here what this does is it shows all of the other tabs so this is a welcome tab that I just installed that uh, I'm going to show how to I sh explain how to do on the next video. So to change the order of any of these thumbnails, all you have to do is click on the edit button again here and click on, let's just say I want to change this one here. So we'll uh, edit that and then we'll see where it says swap position with and then I can click one. So click on welcome and then it switches positions. That's how you do that. What what else we can do is we can change the the display thumbnail and we can also change the title so this is a YouTube app and this is what was the default but if I want I can actually go in here and I can go down here and click edit settings okay and now I can custom tab image I can change that and I can change that to a different image I'm not gonna do that now and what I can also do is I can change the name so I can put uh, training videos if I want okay and okay so now I've got training videos there same thing with this one and same thing with this so you can change the order of those you can change the names and you can change the the image which is nice so what you want to do here is you want to have calls to actions in the images so I'm going to be changing these out myself to have stronger calls to action in the image to get somebody to to draw their attention to that image and take them to the custom landing page that I, that I will have. So now these thumbnail images are 111 pixels wide by 74 long. So if you're using an image that's bigger, you just you either want to shrink it down or you want to make sure that it's about the same ratio of, of width and height. So now let's go ahead and go into the into the timeline itself. Now with the timeline, some pretty cool things you can do is you can actually pin, okay, okay, so what you can do is you can pin specific posts that you want to show up at the top, okay? So right here, 
see that little flag right there? That little, that little, uh, what would that be called? Not a banner, but a, but a ribbon. It's, it's a ribbon. Sorry, it's a, like a yellow ribbon. So, what I did was, if I click, if I hover over this post, I can click Edit, okay, and then Unpin. Let's go back to it, and I'm going to pin to top, okay. So now this post will stay up to a seven day max. So I can only post one, I'm sorry, I can only pin one post at a time, but I can keep it up there for seven days without changing it. So I can have a post right here that's telling people to go to my offer if I want or whatever it is that I'm promoting, it will stay at the top. So now you've got these larger images here that are right below the timeline. You've got your post right here in your face and it's, it's pretty cool. So. And then what you can do, another great function of the timeline is you can highlight specific posts. So I can click this here, highlight, and what I can do is click on highlights and then I can scroll down and I can choose a post. So what I did was I just chose this one I just posted um, a second ago here and it will take up the whole entire width of your timeline. So I, I, I just launched a, a podcast a few days ago and I hadn't actually posted it on my Facebook page yet because I'm still uh, perfecting it. So what I did was I just posted this and this is a highlighted post so it takes up the whole width of the timeline. So pretty cool. Now you can't pin a post and highlight the same post at the same time because uh, I don't the, the pinned ones goes up or left and it needs the right side for basically post by others and whatever you decide to choose up here so you can you can um, change what you want to highlight too which is pretty cool so post by page friend activity post by others okay let's talk about the milestones now if you what you want to do which I have not done yet is you want to create some milestones for your business so if you click right here put the top where you would normally post a status update and you click milestones you can start to you know you can create uh, first event is going to be when your business started and then you can create different milestones when you you know you got your thou thousandth customer when you got a certain amount of, of views or or something cool that you you know where you helped this many people do that you know create some milestones I'm gonna work on creating some cool milestones for my business and then that will you can really create them to look like almost like blog posts what it does is it basically centers up the the content and when somebody goes down to look at your milestone uh, towards the bottom of your timeline it can you can really organize it in a pretty cool way almost like a blog so it's it's, it's really cool so okay now you got the about section here you want to go ahead and fill out the about section and it, it's a little bit more detailed than before and fill out each section within the about section so when people go take a look at that they can see everything about you okay so when it comes to the timeline, setting up the basic you know, attributes of the new timeline, right now, that will get you going. That will get you started. Um, hopefully, this, this really helps you out. For, like I said, for more information, all the links that I talked about for uh, the video that I've got on how to install a custom landing page for your uh, for your for your page, just go to www.dominatewebmedia.com slash timeline. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're watching this on YouTube so you can get updates, okay? Uh, I will have be having lots more videos coming out on updates with Facebook and other areas of YouTube and social media. So go ahead and sub subscribe to my channel. And uh, if you're on the blog post, please comment and, uh, and like the post and like the video. Appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you later.